Hey everybody out there, you're tuned in to 91.8 The Fan. You're in my corner and I have a newcomer in the corner. Would you like to unveil your secret identity to the masses? Oh, I don't know. Then they'll all know who I am. Uh, I am Erica Harlicker. I, I, like, I, I like how dramatic that was. I figured it should be dramatic because it's a secret identity. I wish I had like a sound effect or something or a super <laughs> theme song to play in the background, but I totally don't. Yes. Oh, well, they can imagine it. Exactly. <laughs> but no, it's very nice to have you on the show. We've never gotten a chance to talk with you, so we get to make our introductions and learn a little bit about how you got into acting. Cool. So uh, what, what, what initially sparked your interest into it? Um, well, when I was like 10, I told my mom I wanted to be a voice actor because I saw uh, behind the scenes of Kim Possible. I don't know if you remember that show. It was awesome. We, we have the Japanese uh, Call Me, Beat Me song in here. Oh, cool. Yay. <laughs> I'm totally so, playing that during the break now. <laughs> awesome. Um, so I was watching a behind the scenes thing and the lead girl, Christy Carlson Romano, was like, I can go to work in my pajamas. And I was like, that's awesome. I want to do that. So I told my mom that I was going to be a voice actor. And she was like, oh, that's not a real job. So I was like, oh, OK. Um, and, then, <laughs> and then I forgot about it until I was like, 18 or 19 and then I discovered like the adventures of voice acting workshops and like some online sites that had voice acting and I was like oh yeah I remember I wanted to do this so then I started doing it it was awesome I have to wonder what your mom says now (laughs) I tell her I bring up the story a lot and she's always like I don't think I said that but she totally did (laughs) (laughs) it sounds just like my mom yeah. <laughs> because my mom claims, even though, you know, I've been with 91.8 The Fan for four years and things like that, is that, you know, the anime thing, the Pikachu thing is just a hobby. You're, you're just, just a, <laughs> you'll get over it. And I was like, you know, 10 years later, technically, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm not over it. My parents have accept- accepted that I'm not over this stuff. <laughs> and it's not a hobby. So, Yeah. <laughs> They're supportive, though. That's good. No, that's always a good thing. So now I have to wonder, did you go through just the adventures and workshop training? For, um, or or yeah. did you have a bunch of different teachers? Uh, yeah, I, I took my first workshop, which was the Adventures of Voice Acting workshop with Pony Oliver, like, uh, like three or four years before I actually like got into professional voice acting because it was just like oh, I remember this was something that might be cool. And then he was really supportive. So, but it took me like a year or two to take another one with him. And then I ended up getting an internship at Bang Zoom. And then that led to actually going to other workshops and being like, oh, I'll do this as a job. So now I've taken other workshops with like Richard Horvitz and Crispin Freeman and uh, all those wonderful people. But at the time it was just, it was just Tony. He was my, he was my main teacher. He was awesome. Yeah, Tony is awesome. I remember, oh gosh, it was so long ago. <laughs> At Anime <laughs> Expo, I think 2009, I think we went to all three of their panels for oh. for Adventures in Voice Acting. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I love those panels. <laughs> yeah, they're a lot of fun. And then I think following that, the documentary came out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I that Actually, I watched that like right before I went to my first class. I forgot about this. I watched that documentary because I signed up for the class and bought it at AX, I think 2009. And um, I was so inspired by it that I was like, oh my God, I, I want to do this for real. And like, ah, oh, this seems so cool. And then, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I totally understand. I mean, I think after I watched that too, it was like, I got this adrenaline rush to do something, but I don't know what to do. <laughs> right? It was it's just so inspiring. Even though they like tell the truth about how it's hard and stuff, I was like, oh man, I gotta do this. Exactly. So, yeah. <laughs> well, now you are doing it, and the fans are talking about a project that you're in, and they're going nuts over it. I've seen Twitter explode, I've seen her Facebook explode, and I've seen her live chat explode over it. And it's, <laughs> it's you know, devilish rampage. I mean, Dong and Rapa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, that devilish rampage. It's a wonderful game. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I love Duncan Rampa. I'm so happy it's doing so well. Uh, I know people were a little like apprehensive, like, oh, is it is the dub gonna be okay? But then I think people really like it, so yay! 
I really love the dub personally, but that's just me. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't account for all the anime fans out there, all the game fans out there, but <laughs> I, I find the dub to fit really well because the characters are so wacky, but they're put in such a dark situation. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I've been playing it also. Um, and I just love, in particular, I love Lucian Dodge's character. <laughs> Hifumi, I think his name is. Yes. <laughs> I like I love talking to him because he just makes the funniest noises. <laughs> it's just awesome. Then he randomly just you know gets that that deep superhero. Oh yeah. Like I can't do it because my voice just doesn't go that way. But he he's like really nerdy and then he suddenly ha ha and I'm like what happened? Yeah, I guess the Japanese uh, voice actor does that too, which is awesome that Lucian was able to like do that. Oh, it's just so funny. I love talking to that character. <laughs> I want him to be my friend. He's actually the only character I haven't had free time with. I'm sorry, Lucian. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I had one free time with him so far, and it was really creepy because he was like, do you want to borrow my, like, furry things? And I'm like, uh, uh yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, go away. But uh, we got closer, so that's nice. See, okay. what I ended up doing, and, and not... I'll try not to spoil, but I've luckily had free time with at least everyone once before something has happened to them. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so I'm like, yes, I'm getting more superpowers or whatever these things are for the class trials. (laughs) (laughs) Right, right. Yeah. I was actually kind of sad, though, because I think you have to spend, like, three or four times with them to get all of their power, whatever it is. Yeah, for the first ones, the first ones were the ones that I, like, clearly remembered were going to, you know be guilty slash killed Mm -hmm. and um so I tried to spend free time with them but then I was also kind of like eh eh, whatever they're they're gonna die so I'll just go spend free time with my own character (laughs) (laughs) I like that strategy that's a good strategy yes yeah (laughs) I'm one of those people that that goes for the trophies and I think one of the trophies is like filling out everybody's report card so you have to get to know everybody I just I don't know though what that after there's like this after post what like mode like after school or something right school mode yeah yeah and I'm not exactly sure what that entails and if I can do it there so I'm not there yet I'm working on it yeah yeah I I don't really know what school mode is but I know that I can like possibly date my own character so that's my like true goal oh that's sexy date myself yes No, what's really interesting, though, about your character is she's probably the most calm out of everyone. She's, like, not phased at all, it feels like. Yeah, when when we were recording, there were, like, you know, all these terrible things happening. And I was like, oh, should I be, like, freaked out? And they're like, no, you're you're totally calm. And I'm like, okay. So (laughs) she was, like, super fun um, because she's just, like, always on top of things. Always, like, I know what I'm doing. So I knew when I played the game, I was like, I'm going to follow her around because she's always calm. (laughs) I'm going to stalk you until you freak out. Is it working? Exactly, yeah. (laughs) Well, I think it's really interesting because you're obviously very energetic and you have a character that isn't exhibiting a ton of emotion. Like, Uh you kind of have to keep it contained. Was that difficult for you? Um, Sometimes they had to, like, pull me back, but... Once I got the idea of, like, who the character was, like, I watched a couple episodes of the anime before I went in to record, and um, I I just kind of knew that she didn't get super emotional, so I just kept that in mind, Uh, and I wouldn't say it was difficult. I would say it was, like, different than any other character I've played, so that was fun, though. No, and it's always good to try something new. It means, you know, you open new doors and new avenues to try different characters after. It's like a snowball effect. It's awesome. Exactly. <laughs> but no, the fan reaction has been super insane, and the game has been a lot of fun, and I'm very excited to see that you're a part of it. Thank you. Yeah, I just, I love how it came out. I feel like it's a really good game. I've, I've been playing it for like five hours straight, which is bad. But <laughs> <laughs> I feel that pain. Yes. <laughs> but you know. <laughs> like we're going to go on break, and she's going to pull out her Vita. <laughs> <laughs> totally. So it's in the other room. I knew I would want to do that, so I kept it over there. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's right next to me. 
Like, oh, that's right. trouble. Yeah, yeah, it is trouble. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to, I have to wonder when you go into record. Obviously, you know bits and pieces of what's happening in the story, and if your director is really amazing, you know quite a bit of the story to be able to establish your character. So when you go back and you play it afterwards, even though a lot of time has passed, are you surprised by anything that happens, or are you like, man, what did happen? Um, well, like for the first ones, I definitely remembered. And so as I was like finding clues, I was like, I know where to get the clues. And I remember all this because I remember talking about it in the trial. And, um, but then after that, I like, I remember the next person who was going to die, but I didn't really remember who did it. And then after the second trial, I just like, I really don't remember. It was so long ago. And a lot of what Kyoko says is like, you know, look at the clues and like, you know who did it, don't you? <laughs> yeah, so, like she is kind of vague sometimes. Yeah, like, you so have to solve it for yourself. I'm not helping. <laughs> exactly. And when we were recording, there weren't, like, I didn't have pictures of the characters next to, you know, the lines. And so sometimes I would be like, oh, it was this person. But I don't remember what their name was or what they looked like. So <laughs> it's, it's a surprise to me now for the second half of the game, which is exciting. Oh, that is really cool. So you get the same impact as everybody else at home. Yeah, exactly. I tried to, like, rush through the first one just because I, like, I knew it was going to happen and I wanted to get to the parts where I was surprised. Exactly. So, yeah. <laughs> well, I was, really... so, I was nope. so sad at the end of the second trial. Oh, I know. I didn't I, remember. <laughs> I don't want to spoil anything, but, like, that whole thing made me not happy. <laughs> oh, it was just, it was, oh, it was so sad. My, my heart. <laughs> well we're gonna go have a cry break in the corner <laughs> so yes <laughs> so keep it tuned to 91.8 the fan where we we apparently enjoy tears but our special guest isn't going anywhere so stay tuned <laughs> Hey everybody out there, you're tuned in to 91.8 The Fan. My special guest is still here. We found some tissues. It's fine. <laughs> We're all put together now. It's not a big deal. Yes. Fixed our makeup. You know, everything's good. Oh, you're wearing makeup? Man, I don't do that. No, I'm not. I'm not wearing makeup. I was about to say, like, I just kind of roll out of bed and then I do my shift. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's kind of what happened today. <laughs> Shh. Don't tell anyone that I was still in bed before this. <laughs> that is perfectly fine because I was too. I haven't okay, even good. I haven't had breakfast yet, and it's like two twenty six p.m. Oh, we're like we're like soul twins, <laughs> lazy soul twins that enjoy yes. pita. Okay, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> For the listeners out there, obviously, you know that isn't the only project you're a part of. Even though, um, you know, uh, Danganronpa or whichever fancy new way to say it, trigger happy <laughs> havoc. I'll do that one this time. Ooh, that works. <laughs> yeah. Even though that's not the only thing you're a part of, you've been uh, a part of actually a few other projects, and I'm sure you have uh, a few that you want the listeners to know about as well, correct? Yes. Um, I just had another game come out yesterday. It's Earth Defense Force 2025, and it's super silly and, like, awesome. It's like a really over-the-top shooter game where you're fighting giant bugs. <laughs> and um, it's a sequel to Earth Defense Force 2017, I think. Um, but yeah, I play like a, a wing diver and I think also some other characters. We recorded like a year ago, so I don't fully remember who I play, but I know I get caught in a spider web, so you should save me from spider web if you get the game. <laughs> Can they choose <laughs> not to save you? I think so, which would be oh, sad. Gosh. That's not very nice. I know, don't let me get eaten. I did a lot of screaming, so I feel like you can choose not to save me. <laughs> that seems like a really horrible way to die by, like a giant spider. Because I... I'm pretty sure these are, like, the size of buildings or something. <laughs> they are. And I'm, like, terrified of spiders. When I when I got cast, my boyfriend was like, Haha, you you hate spiders, and now you have to record that you're fighting spiders for, like, hours. <laughs> I was like, I know. It's scary. Spiders don't bug me as much. It's cockroaches that I really don't like. Oh, I hate those. Oh, my gosh. It's because they run away so quickly. I can't kill them. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, I've had bad experiences with cockroaches. But they can't bite me, so I'm like, I'm okay. Usually. Yeah. I, 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 don't, I don't really want to tell the story on there, but I'll tell it anyway because I, I think uh, the bug conversation is rather interesting. At the last apartment I lived at, there oh, was... No. <laughs> yes, I know. There was one day where I believe my upstairs neighbors were moving in, and so I guess that rustled all the bugs. And when I woke up one day, I wasn't awake yet, but I felt something on my cheek. 
And the first thing I did, like, I like there was, like, this pause because I was, like, hmm. And then immediately my hand shot up and, like, grabbed and threw. Like, whatever it was. Just... <laughs> and then I shot up and I was, like, what was that? What did I just do? Like, I realized there was something in my hand and I hadn't squished it, but I threw it across the room. Oh, no. Oh, God. It's making me all itchy. Uh, <laughs> No, it's okay. I never did find that bug. Oh, really? Well, we moved, so. Oh, okay, okay. We got away from it. It's fine. (laughs) I just followed you. I don't know. Cockroaches are smart. They can survive apocalypses. Well, luckily I have a cat, and she likes to kill bugs. Oh, okay, good. Even though she's older now, she still still is like, ooh, bug. (laughs) (laughs) Good. That's always good to have. Exactly. That's that's the reason to have cats. (laughs) Yes. But now I believe that there are some other projects that um, recently came out that are getting a lot of reaction right now, like Sword Art Online and Excel World. Yes, That's yeah. That's to pimp out too. Um, yeah, I was in Excel World as Blood Leopard. Um, she's really cool. Um, she's kind of similar to Kyoko in that she doesn't have much emotion, um, actually. So that was really fun. Um, I'm in like the last few episodes, I think. But she's like one of the... I don't know. She's under Sarah Williams' character <laughs> in command. <laughs> um, and, yeah, and then Sword Art Online was, like, super fun. I was so happy I got to be involved with that project because I had watched... That's one of the animes that I had watched, like, before I knew that they were even, like, casting it or anything. And I was like, I love it so much! It's so good! Um, so I was really excited that I got to be a part of that. Um, I play Sasha. Uh, she's in, like, episode... Uh, 10 and 11 or something, or 11 and 12, something like that. She takes care of all the kids. She's she's cute. <laughs> that show has had some major reactions, though. Oh, yeah? Yeah, just because it's, uh, you know, it's up on TV for people to be able to watch. Yeah, that was cool, too. I was excited about that. <laughs> you could be like, hey, mom, hey, mom, hey, mom, go to channel, whatever. Hey, mom, see, it's a real job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I actually recorded episode one, because I also play a reporter at the very beginning of episode one, like I'm the first voice. So I recorded it at my parents' house, and then I was like, "Come watch this, because I'm I'm on it." And I and I showed it to them, and they were like, "Oh, that's you!" And I was like, "I know." <laughs> so it was exciting. <laughs> well, like, I'm yeah. I'm glad that you that you have projects, um, you know, coming down the pipeline and things like that. And I'm sure you have things that you know the NDA ninjas will attack you for that you can't talk about. Yes, I have one that I'm super excited about that I think is finally going to be announced soon hopefully in like the next month or something um i i actually have been teasing it on my twitter being like recording a super secret project and i put like a picture of me with my director and my engineer and twitter like blew up i was not expecting that people were like oh my god what could the project be it could be this or this or this and i was like whoa everyone's really interested in what this could be so i'm really excited to finally reveal it and be like haha this is what it is (laughs) I feel like I have to go back on your Twitter now and see if I can identify the director. Uh, hmm. It's Alex Von David, and he's great to work with. I love him. He was the one who was like, let's take a picture. So I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, but it's it's such a good project. I'm like, that's my biggest role to date. And I'm like, I've seen some of the episodes already, and uh, it's just, it's so good. I think it's come out so well. I'm really excited for it to be revealed. Well, that sounds exciting. So we'll have to watch your Twitter and your Facebook with bated breath. Where can the fans, you know, stalk you in a nice way on the internet besides uh, Twitter, Facebook, website, stuff like that? Um, Yeah, you can go to my Twitter at Erica Harlicker. um, Or you can go to my Facebook fan page, which is Erica Harlicker Voice Actress. Um, And yeah, I usually post everything professional related on both of those so on twitter i post more random things so if you are more interested in random things that happen in my life you should follow me on twitter but if you're only interested in like professional things then you should go to facebook so yeah twitter is more fun anyway and on your twitter you have pictures of a puppy and i like that i do Uh, (laughs) i also i also put those on my facebook because he was just so cute i couldn't resist (laughs) My, my sister made fun of me and said that i made this Facebook page for like professional things and then most of it was puppies at one point. And she was like, I don't think you're doing it right. Hey, so. there is great internet money in puppies. I'm just saying. I, and he's a really cute puppy. So his name is Winston, which I think is adorable. So. 
<laughs> you know, I, th- I feel like the fans needed to see. <laughs> I don't think anybody can complain, can complain about cats or puppies on the internet. I, I think it's like a rule. Yeah. I mean, Stephanie Shea posts a lot of puppy pictures, so I felt like it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, for the listeners out there who want to meet you in real life, do you have any conventions or events coming up? Um, I actually do, but I can't announce them yet. Christmas. Uh, I know. So stay tuned. Um, follow me on, on the social network stuff, and I will hopefully be announcing them in the near future. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited because I've never been invited to a convention before, so it's going to be like my first one. Yay! <laughs> so I might be really awkward though if they meet me there. So just a warning, because <laughs> yeah. Well, have you gone to anime conventions in the past? I have. Yeah, I've been a guest. I, not a guest, but you know, like an attendee, normal person. Yes. Yeah. An attendance person. <laughs> um, so I know how they work, and I I've had friends who've been on panels and guests and stuff. So I know what to expect, but I still feel like I'll be awkward. So. Yeah, there will be that adrenaline rush and nervousness kind of going on in your belly, and you'll be like, what do I do? What do I do? Yeah, exactly. (laughs) But that's the fun part. Yeah. It's better energy than coffee. (laughs) Exactly. I'm super excited about it. So, yay, I want to meet everyone. Yeah. Awesome. Well, since we're nearing the end of this interview, I was wondering if you'd be willing to participate in a 91.8 The Fan tradition. Oh, Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Wonderful. We basically ask if you'd be willing to say a radio bump for us. Okay. The trick of it, however, is that if you mess up, everybody hears it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we basically... nervous. <laughs> you don't have to be nervous. It's okay. Okay. They, they like it when you mess up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we basically ask if you'd be willing to say, hello, my name is, you insert your name, I do this, you can say you're a voice actress, characters, whatever you want to put there. And you're tuned into 91.8, The Fan. Okay. All right. Okay. Let me get ready. (laughs) So whenever you're ready. Okay. Hi, this is Erica Harlicker. I'm a voice actress in Danganronpa, Sword Art Online, and a bunch of other stuff. And you're tuned into 91.8, The Fan. See, look at that. You were all worried and freaked out and nothing bad happened. I did it. Yay. Yay. (laughs) I was, so, I was so nervous. I was like, I was like, had my had my fists up, like I was ready to fight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I, we're not gonna punch you through the screen if you get it wrong. I promise. I wasn't sure. I had to had to be ready for anything. You know. <laughs> I mean, some people in the live chat m- might say, "Oh, good good mess up," or like something like this. But we're not gonna hurt you. We're okay. not that kind of people. <laughs> we're not 4chan. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. Okay. <laughs> So is there anything else you'd like to tell the listeners out there? Any words of wisdom, dating advice, predictions for the end of the world? <laughs> Ooh. Um, I mean, I would just say that, like, if you really want to do something, just, like, go for it, you know? Like, that's what I did, and it's been awesome, amazing, and, like, even though there's times when it's, like, you're, you're kind of, like, oh, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Keep doing it if you love it, unless it's, like, hurting someone or yourself, because then it's probably bad. And it's like, probably illegal, too. Yeah, so then don't do that. But, you know, if it's not that, then keep doing it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't really have dating advice. <laughs> it's okay. I don't have dating advice either. That's why I ask you guys. Aha! Uh, be, be kind and generous and don't be a creepy stalker. That's my Creepy dating. stalkers are bad. Yes, that's just bad. <laughs> So, so that's just that's actually for all the fans out there. Don't be a creepy stalker on the internet either. To your favorite, yeah, characters. it's true. You know, just no hiding in virtual bushes. You know, like creeping down the street on the virtual highway. Oh, I like, did, I'm not even a Minecraft fan, but I just imagine somebody like creeping around in Minecraft, like in bushes, <laughs> like somebody's somebody's built their house in Minecraft. Somebody's creeping around the house, and then and then they'd be attacked by creepers. That's what the bad guys are in the game. <laughs> <laughs> perfect poetic justice (laughs) definitely (laughs) but thank you so much for this this was a lot of fun thank you for having me it was super fun and for any of the listeners out there that missed any of this interview don't fret you can find it on the website within the next few days so keep your eyes peeled to 918thefan.com and your ears tuned to 91.8 the fan where we play everything you want and nothing you don't